Hi, my name is Victoria, and I'm a seventh grader at Kansas City Christian School. My brother, sister, and I love being at KCC. Let me tell you why I think your kids would love it too. If you're considering Kansas City Christian, then you're probably like most of our parents. You want your kids to be trained with a strong foundation for life in God. I know my parents were searching for just that. They were looking for a place for us to learn from a Christian perspective and build a biblical worldview. At KCC, we learn to see the world and ourselves the way God sees us. Mr. and Mrs. Barash have four kids at KCC. For them, it's all about the complete student. You have an excellent education. You have the ability, because it's a smaller school, for everybody to participate in sports or extracurricular activities. And then I think the, the part that Kansas City Christian brings to bear that you don't find anywhere else is the character development. Really teaching the kids to be Christ-like in how they live their lives. My parents found themselves doing a lot of unteaching when we got home from school. Things that don't match up with a biblical worldview. Here at KCC, everyone is on the same page. You can trust that what teachers are telling us is probably the same thing you would say. My parents love it. Just the actual reinforcement of being in an environment where 40 hours a week, you know, they're around teachers and theoretically students that are, you know, kind of working from the same sheet of music. KCC focuses on a biblical worldview, and that means that God is the center of all we do. But we have to study the world around us to become leaders and world changers. Mr. and Mrs. Barash know the key. I think teaching with a Christian worldview is more than just having Bible class at Kansas City Christian. It's like actually putting, weaving, you know, the Lord through everything. We want to teach our kids that God is an integral part of every equation, whether it's the order of the universe from mathematics and physics or the order of social interactions. God is at the center of that. But it's not all about Bible classes here at KCC. All of my classes are challenging. My teachers are always talking about academic excellence and preparing us for the future. The great thing is that when we're challenged, we have the individual support we need to learn and grow. Mr. and Mrs. Bial know the importance of academic excellence. The teachers take a personal interest in pushing them, teaching them, helping them to be the best they can be. When I was in public school, there were so many students in my classes that the teachers didn't have a lot of time to give me individual attention or get to know me. But that's not the case here. My teachers care about me and all the other kids in my class. Our classes are small, so I can get help from my teachers individually if I need it. That's such an important factor for moms and dads. We've been so impressed with the personal attention they give every kid and how interested they are in helping the kids with being successful and reaching their goals and helping them grow with their personal faith. The one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teachers and we were really just drawn to the relational aspect. They recognize that people truly care about their academics and, and not even just that, but just about them as a person, you know, and when you have people who truly care, you care more about yourself and what you're doing. Mr. Cangelosi says it's a key ingredient for learning. Particularly our set of teachers think about their students on a level beyond just delivering academics to them. They think about them as this whole person that, um, that is God's child that they want to you know, to help facilitate what God is doing in those, those kids' lives. I really believe my teachers genuinely love me, and I know they spend time praying for us. One of my teachers told me that this unlocks the powerful potential that God puts in us. A common question we hear a lot is, sure, having a Christian education is good, but what about the classes? Can they really be as good as the public schools? They sure can. Our administrators take a lot of time to develop academics to make sure we're learning a lot. Mr. Williams and Mr. Cangelosi spend a lot of time determining how to teach us. 
we're not just sort of randomly walking in and deciding what we're going to do just because we feel like it. We're taking pretty enormous time, um, and every discipline is going to get an entire year uh, where we're really looking at it and digging into it and reading about what's going on nationally and what the research is saying. Um, and so when we go to actually make uh, make a decision, uh, we are able to do it well and do it uh, with depth. So the teachers, we also really incorporate into that process. We, we view our teachers as experts in their field. So when we hire a math teacher for high school, not only do we expect them to teach well, but we want them to pour back into our decision-making process when we look at curriculum. The high school students have great teachers too, and I'm looking forward to being in those classes in a few years. When the seniors graduate, they're well prepared to take the next step in their lives and pursue what God has for them in the future. In fact, our students perform better on the ACT than a lot of the schools in the area. Mr. and Mrs. Trot have KCC graduates that are out being leaders. The education uh, has more than proven itself. They're doing well. They're doing well in extracurricular activities, their social life, their academic life, their faith, all of it has come full circle for us. I've had such a good time making friends here at KCC. Because we are on the same campus, I've even become friends with girls in high school. And I got to be in the fall musical Bye Bye Birdie. It was awesome hanging out with the cast. But drama isn't the only extracurricular activity around here. There are a lot of different options for students to get involved. Everything from a wide variety of sports to robotics, drama and scholars bowl, just to name a few. A lot of the teams even start in middle school. Our son went to four state golf championships. He went to state soccer two years. All his dreams came true athletically at Kansas City Christian. My girls played four years of sports. All their friends, if they weren't in sports, they could do theater or drama. Danielle went to China with the choir one year and got to experience singing before the Olympics. And our daughter was even given the opportunity this year to be in the musical. So they opened it up for middle school, not just high school. And they've usually done plays, but this year it was a musical, so there were a lot, the cast was quite a bit bigger. So the middle school was allowed the opportunity, and so that was just a perfect example of her being able to interact and do an activity with older kids and just have fun with them and learn from them and make new friends. Along with all of the friends I've made, my parents have gotten to know the other parents too. They love how everyone is on the same page, working towards the same goals. Everybody shares the same love of God, and everybody has the same general goals for their kids. And so, whether kids are over at our house, or whether our kids are over at other people's houses, it's all consistently driving toward that same message. I'm sure by now you're probably thinking to yourself that a quality Christian education like this must cost an arm and a leg. The goal at KCC is to make Christian education an option for the families that feel like it's a priority. That's why we offer financial assistance to many of our students. Miss Brim knew her son would flourish at KCC, but wasn't quite sure how to make it happen. I had always known about Kansas City Christian and had always wanted my kids to go to a Christian school and never thought I could afford it. And one day I happened to make a wrong turn because I didn't even remember where Kansas City Christian was. I made a wrong turn and drove right by it and I just immediately felt God say, you need to pull in there. And I went in and I got an application and God was going to make it happen if, if that's where he wanted us to be financially. So, how can you become a part of this awesome school? You just need to call Mrs. Connolly and set up a time to come take a tour. Your son or daughter could also come shadow during a morning. We do it all the time. Maybe they'll even shadow with me. I would tell a prospective family that if they want a great environment for their child with a great staff, with an extremely high academic standard that KCC is a great option. And it is so worth making that leap of faith like we did. Thanks for listening. I gotta go to class. See you later.